Welcome to the Birch Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival. We talk with our guests about the latest film project, the filmmaking process, and we take a closer look behind the scenes. My name is Julia Rutkowska, and I am very happy to welcome director Adrian Silvestre, director Hello. of My Emptiness and I, and actor Rafael Perez. Hello. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Being normal is a concept. Being normal does not exist. In your film, My Emptiness and I, the main character, Rafi, played by you, Raphael, is on a constant search for identity and struggling with the term normal. Adrian, can you tell us a bit about the story of Rafi and her journey? Yeah, of course. Um, we have wondered many times about what the concept of normal is, and I don't think we already have an answer. But I would say, in terms of what we are trying to portray in the film, um, we have tried to question uh, the boundaries between being normal in terms of gender, what uh, gender transitions uh, mean, and what should be like the proper journey for a trans human being. And that's something that Rafael has been through, and I thought it was perfect to have a chance to portray all of her experiences in a film to convey this message to the audience. Great, so this journey is based on your personal experience, Rafael. You're the co-script writer, and um, the film is still fiction, we have to stress that. What was the most important part for you to express and to tell to the audience? I think the most important thing was about the look of the others, how the others look at you, how the others uh, defines you, um, and the pressure of that. Because, of course, I'm pretty sure of who I am and, and, and yeah, the person I am. But it is true, in front of you, you have the society, a lot of people that also see you and try to sometimes guide you with their own perspective and their own on ideas on what a trans person has to do. Uh, so it was important to reflect that, press, that social pressure in the, in the movie and try to, to show how trans people, who is having all this experience in his life, can, can manage this social pressure that in my case was something very difficult. And I think I am pretty proud of the result we had because we have a lot of different voices in the movie and those voices show that. And how did you two meet each other and how did your working process start? Well, I think everything started five years ago in Barcelona, which is the city we both are based at this moment. And I just had uh, the willing of create a new project with the trans community, not only in front of the camera, but also becoming also objects of the film. That means that they could be involved in a participatory project in which they can help me to build the script, to understand which is the film that we really need at this point. And Rafael was one of those participants who at some point she decided to share with us many short stories that she had she had been writing and that was amazing because not only the story had a lot of potential but also when i saw how she uh, port portrayed herself and how she performs i was immediately convinced that that was a story that we were all going for and on my side i would say all was super organic natural uh, we developed a, a strong uh, friendship, uh, so I think that's helped that's help me because it was my first experience in, in cinema and, and I trust in, in him and, and the work we were doing together and, and, and again I think this helped to have the results we have now with the, with the movie. And Totally. And was, what was your uh, most fun part of filming? Is there anything you remember? Yeah, even though everything started as a rather formal workshop, at the end of the day, everything uh, forged in a close friendship. Now we are very, very close friends. And I would say, like, uh, this challenge is not as challenging as, as you can think because everything was so organic and so easy. And even in the most tough parts or 
the most delicate uh, scenes in the film, I think we could uh, trust each other and enjoy uh, regardless the difficulty of everything. So I, I, I don't remember what. I have a fun anecdote. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was the change of air during the movie because there are three changes uh, of, of air. And it was very funny because for the first uh, change, I think you were not so convinced, but finally we, we did it and the result is good. And for me, the worst were, was where uh, I was blunt because I was not able to assume <laughs> this new color. <laughs> but finally, it's good because it happens uh, in reality in the film. Um, but I remember this tension moment we had, and as you said now, uh, even if there was difficulties at this moment, I think we, 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 we fought on the objectives that was to make this movie together. Uh, and, and now, with the distance and the perspective, I remember this, this moment with a lot of, um, with a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so your great relationship uh, makes it uh, very easy and fun to create this movie. Raphael, um, but still you uh, wrote the script together with Adrian, and for that you had to relive the stations of your former journey. How was that for you to look back on this time? Um, I was not aware about, about that aspect because, as Adrian said, I was writing a lot uh, my own experience. So during the process itself of knowing each other, uh, thinking on the, on the script, uh, or, or during the shooting also, I was still writing. So sometimes I was also telling to, Ad to Adriana, I have this text, or I have this anecdote, or, and if it was interesting, Thing. We sometimes maybe we, we, we fought on the possibility to add it on, on the script itself. So I think all, all was so natural, so organic, that I was not aware of, of the, 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 the process. And I love the way uh, this way of working we had because uh, it was super easy for me. That sounds like fun. In the film, um, Rafi is using dating apps. She's also posting uh, photos of couples on social media, which is also underlining her longing for a rela relationship. What is your personal opinion on social media in general? On my side, I think effectively there is like a danger of social media because uh, as we try to show on, on the movie, there is a lot of violence on the social media and on the, the app uh, for dating, the dating app uh, for trans communities, there is a, a lot of violence. But on another hand, I think it is also something very important because it can give us, uh, give us sorry, the opportunity to visualize us, to show us, to show how we are, what we do. Uh, on my case, for example, I love writing, I love photos, so I put m my art uh, <laughs> in, in social media. It's a way to, to, to allow the other person, other person to know me. So I think there is like this ambivalence between the, the, the violence of the, of the social media, but there is also positive things. So again, I think the most important is to find the balance for not uh, going on the worst and I don't know. <laughs> I totally agree. I think in this sense, um, social media would be, could be considered as a double-edged sword uh, in the sense of it can be positive because on one hand, it's thanks to the social media that you can express who you are and connect with many, many people who can relate to your story from everywhere. But on the other hand, also there is this kind of flirt apps like a Tinder that it's used. And it's something that we used to talk a lot when we were uh, writing the script. And you can find also a lot of violence in it, especially in the language, no matter what, if you had a physical encounter afterwards or not, but even in the language, every, every message that you can exchange, it's full of many, many underlying uh, patronizing um, words and many rude and awkward situations that you should avoid. And I don't think we are 
already aware of what we're doing as a society at this moment, but I think this is something that takes our reflection. Yeah, and the violence you mentioned on social media, it's uh, also often because you are anonymous and you maybe just express things you would never say to a person directly to their face. So Yeah, yeah people are hidden behind the screen, so they, f they have the imp impunity to, to sometimes let the beast uh, go out. I heard that you um, also have written a book. Um, what are your next steps? Will there be uh, any other projects with you two together? Well, at this moment we are um, touring over the world with this film and it's amazing how can we share this, this story with uh, many different cultures and audiences. And we are also involved in new projects. Unfortunately, we are no longer working together because, as you say, Rafael is very focused in, on her book and I am shooting a new film. And, but we are still friends and we are trying to, to share time as, at this moment in France life. Yeah, on, on my side, I have the feeling that this experience of the festival are like the extension of the movie because uh, we are still knowing us each other. Uh, even if we are not working together now, it's true that experience, uh, it's, it's super beautiful. So I am, I am enjoying a lot. Right. So speaking of balance, um, you're touring a lot, but uh, you said you're good friends too, so you can spend some free time together like outside of the work space? Of course, also, yeah. Uh, Sometimes we meet to eat noodles yeah. or uh, <laughs> to have, yeah, good moments, watching a, a movie, go to cinema, as many people are doing when they're friends. So I think we have, yeah, a strong relationship, but... Uh, we have become like sisters. Indeed, I cannot... I couldn't say where is the limit between when we are working and we are just living because we mix up everything and that's fun and I wish it could be like this forever but I think uh, the, the journey is going to be over at some point and we will have to think what is going on next but uh, we have been enjoying it so much so far. That sounds great. So, Rafael, Adrian, thank you very much for taking your time. Have You're a still welcome. good time Thanks at so the booth. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>